Hi friends, welcome back to the Daily Grace channel. My name is Katie and I'm so glad that you're joining us today. We're in full swing of the holiday season and that means that the new year is right around the corner. And for many of us, the new year is a time where we like to set new goals and dreams into action. And while you can truly set goals for your life at any time of the year, there really is something symbolic about the fresh start of a new calendar year. And while you may have set goals for the new year before, have you ever intentionally created gospel-centered goals? As believers, we want everything we do to reflect and bring honor to God including the goals we have for our lives. Now, what is a gospel-centered goal, you might ask? A gospel-centered goal is a goal that you set for yourself with the end result in mind being a closer relationship with the Lord. And truly, any goal we set for ourselves can be a gospel-centered goal if we are pursuing the goal with God's glory and our relationship with Him at the top of our mind. But to kickstart your goal brainstorming today, we are going to share with you three specific gospel-centered goals slash goal categories that you could set for the coming new year. Gospel-centered goal number one that we suggest is spending time daily in the Word. Now you may have set this goal before and maybe you gave up on it after a couple days of getting behind in your reading plan or you entered a busy season and this goal fell on the back burner. We encourage you no matter why you may have given up on this goal in the past to give it another go. Spending time in God's Word is so crucial to our lives as believers. As Matthew 6 11 tells us, God is the provider of our daily bread and our daily portion. And Romans 15, 4 tells us that for whatever was written in the former days was written for our instruction, that through endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. So let us seek his truth, portion, encouragement, and instruction daily through time in his word. Now, if you're having a hard time dedicating a lot of time to this goal when you're first starting out, Start with a few minutes every single day. This could look like choosing a verse or a short passage every day to meditate on, whether that be putting it on your mirror, in your planner, or in your car, wherever you will see it daily. This can act as a constant reminder to reflect on the truth of God's word. And if you're looking for resources to help you in achieving this daily goal, then you're in the right place. Here at The Daily Grace Cut, we are most passionate about making resources that will help you fit time in the Word into your everyday. Whether you're using our Bible studies, verse cards, guided journals, or listening to our podcasts on your morning drive, you will be able to grow in your love and knowledge of God's Word through these resources daily. We will have a bunch of our favorite resources linked in the description box below for you to check out after this video if you're interested in pursuing this specific goal. Goal number two that we suggest is investing in a Christ-centered community. As believers, we are called to be in community with one another. Galatians 6-2 tells us to bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. And Proverbs 27-17 tells us that iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. We are called to come alongside other believers and not only support one another through this life, but to help strengthen and grow one another's faith. A gospel-centered goal for you for this year could be praying and seeking out strong Christ-centered community. This could look like attending a small group, finding a mentor, having an accountability partner, or joining a new church. Whatever it looks like for you, we encourage you to seek that out and pray that God would help you find a strong Christ-centered community. Goal number three is to be a good steward of the things that God has blessed you with. Now this goal can look different depending on what you want to focus on within it. Whether it be your finances, your family, your home, your health, God is the giver of all these wonderful blessings in your life and calls us to be good stewards of them. James 1.17 tells us that every good and perfect thing comes from above. So how can you make gospel-centered goals around being a good steward? For your finances, that could look like creating a budget so that you are able to save and give well. For your health, that could look like creating healthy meal plans or incorporating more exercise into your life. And now this wouldn't be for the goal of looking a certain way or from outside pressure, but this goal should be out of the intention of honoring the Lord and how we take care of the capable and amazing bodies that He has given us. For your family, that could mean carving out more time to disciple your children or to connect with your spouse. And the list goes on and on for ways that you can be a good steward of the resources and blessings that God has given you. And that will ultimately draw you closer to Him and honor Him in your daily life. And there you have it, friends. Those are just a few gospel-centered goals and goal categories that you can think about and even set for yourself as we head into the new year. And like we said before, any goal can really be a gospel center goal when you focus it on growing your relationship with and bringing honor to God. We encourage you to be in prayer about what God wants you to personally focus on as you set your own goals for 2023. And let us know in the comments below if you already have some in mind for yourself. Thank you again for joining us today, friends. We hope you have a blessed holiday season and we will see you next time.